So it's early on a Saturday morning and I've come to the intersection of VFW Road and Jackson Boulevard in Auburn. This is just south of the interstate. Uh, Wrights Mill Road is above this ridge through all those woods where it's just across the interstate. I've come here for a couple reasons. One, um, at this tree across the intersection, I think a couple years ago I put um, a clue to one of my puzzle parties at this tree or somewhere around this intersection. Uh, any signs of it are long gone. Um, but the other reason I've come to this intersection is this is the third installment of videos where I discuss dirt roads in Auburn that are actually city roads. Uh, roads that just are not paved and pretty much abandoned or, or forgotten about. And so I'm still technically on Jackson Boulevard, but you'll see here that the pavement ends and I am now just on the dirt road. Uh, there's a sign up here that says no dumping allowed. Um, one might imagine that this is, you know, just someone's private property or something, but it's not. It's actually, if you look on city maps, this road is designated as a continuation of Jackson Boulevard. And you kind of wonder why, you know, why was it so designated or why was it never paved or whatever, because it's just completely in disuse. And as you'll see, coming up it's not very long, but uh, some people have definitely ignored that sign about no dumping because coming up around this bend to the right, well, or even here to the left, you'll see that people do dump stuff. I mean, it's obvious that this road is just never used by anyone other than people coming down this little dirt road to dump things in the middle of the woods. And this isn't a terribly long road, again, stuff dumped on the side, but what you're going to see here in a couple hundred yards when I get to the end of it is, I believe there is in fact a stop sign. Now I don't think there's a, a sign post designating the name of the road on this end, but I'm about to come up, here's more junk that's just been dumped along this road old tree stumps and old pieces of cars. I mean, this is just really interesting to me that this road is technically a city road, but it's just this little dirt spur continuation that, I mean, no one lives down here. It's just a small patch of woods. There's not much down here. But it really just seems to be completely forgotten about. Probably by everyone except for the couple people that live nearby. Um, but what we'll see is we're coming up here now to where this dirt road, where Jackson Boulevard, ends. It's going to run into Binford Drive, I think it is, which is near one of the waterwork, waterworks plants in Auburn. Again, we're just south of the interstate near Wrights Mill Road. <coughs> Let's see if there's still a stop sign. You can see the paved road here. This is Binford Drive or Binford Road. Oh yeah, and here, crooked up against this tree, lo and behold, is an old stop sign. Right there. Uh, but, uh, let's see if there's a date on the back of the stop sign. This designation looks like it was, wow, 96. Maintenance, 96 or 98 was the last time that this stop sign was ma maintained by the city. So maybe this is, you know, just been completely abandoned. Uh, now here, this has been for drive. This is an actual paved road. And, you know, there are neighborhoods that come around here. That eventually goes down south towards Grove Hill, part of Grove Hill neighborhood. But this little spur here, I think is technically still a city road, but is just completely abandoned by everyone. So that, as far as I know, this is the last dirt road that I know about in Auburn that is technically a city street, but if I find others, I will certainly make videos about them. That's it.